Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a full deck by deck tour of the Norwegian Joy, so check it out. Hey everyone, I'm Ken from Northern Viking Explorer, and if you are new to this channel, it is all about travel, exploring, and discovery. I've also got tons of videos coming up on the Norwegian Joy, including a full vlog series that you're not going to want to miss out on, so make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Now this video is all about the ship tour, and we're going to start up on deck 20 by the laser tag and work our way down floor by floor all the way to deck 5. There is so much to see on the ship, including two Starbucks, tons of restaurants, and we're also going to show you our three favorite spots that we found on the Norwegian Joy. So let's get right into it. So here we are up on deck 20, and this is the laser tag facility. It's a galactic kind of space theme laser tag. It's really cool. And there's a whole walkway around the whole laser tag facility, some benches up here and great views. If you want to take some photos. Here's the other entrance. Really that space vibe going on there. They've also got screens where you can see the scores of the of the games and that. So so heading down the stairs here to deck 19, behind that private wall is the Vibe Beach Club. And way off in the distance there is the Haven Courtyard and Sun Deck. Now this hot tub on the other side of the wall used to be included for everybody on the ship, but now it's part of the Vibe Beach Club. You do have to pay a premium to go in there, and you also have to be 18 plus. I think when they did the refurbishment, they moved that wall, and now it's part of the Vibe Beach Club. And it still shows it as a public sun deck on the Norwegian website. Here's the other half of the Vibe Beach Club, all the deck chairs and umbrellas. So we are going to head over to the back of the ship on deck 19 where we are going to find the mini golf as well as the top end of the racetrack. Here's the mini golf. And you access it from stairs off the 18th deck. It's a nine hole mini golf course. The Norwegian website actually says it's five holes, but it is a full nine. And it did get busier up here towards the end of the week, especially on the sea days. You may want to try it out earlier in the week if you don't want a lot of people. And there's some great views. That's the Spice H2O down there. Here's the other half of the course. You're also going to find some great viewing areas for the go-kart track that's on the Norwegian Joy. Let's head on down to deck 18 and go have a look at that. It's the Norwegian Joy Speedway. This go-kart track is a two-level track. It starts out on deck 18 and goes up to deck 19 and then comes back down to deck 18 again. You can see all the go-karts in the background there. They're electric go-karts and they've got two-person go-karts as well. While we were on the ship, it was $15 to do this, so to kind of give you an idea. And it did book up quite quickly. I'd recommend booking it at the beginning of your cruise. Now down the road, I will have a full video coming out on the go-karts on the Norwegian Joy, so make sure you subscribe. It has a full first-person point of view of driving around the track, so I don't want you to miss out on that. So on the front of the ship on deck 18, you're gonna find quite a few Haven rooms, as well as the Haven restaurant is over here, and they've also got the Haven courtyard and the Haven library. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the Haven. I wish I did, but I don't on this cruise. So let's pop down to deck 17 at the rear of the ship and let's go check out the Spice H2O. Now the Spice H2O is for adults ages 18 and over from 6 a.m. to 7 at night. And I'm not sure why they stopped it at 7 at night. That kids can go in there in the evenings, but they did. And uh, it's kind of odd because in the evenings all of a sudden there'll be kids in the hot tub that weren't allowed there all day. You push these buttons to get out the doors on the Norwegian Joy. So let's head on out to the hot tub here. It's a big hot tub that holds 35 people. It's kind of like three hot tubs pushed together to make one kind of big kidney bean shaped hot tub. And it did get quite busy out here on the sea days. There's also a bar out here and a large screen where they play all sorts of videos and stuff that's going on around the ship. And there's some great views off the back of the ship. Can whale watch from here or take some wonderful photos let's head back on inside on deck 17 and this is where you're gonna find the pulse fitness center right next to the entrance to the spice h2o and they've got all sorts of machines free weights exercise balls yoga mats rollers they've got 
treadmills and exercise bikes. You can have a walk, watch some sports, and maybe stare off out into the sea looking for whales. So let's head on outside on deck 17, and this is where you're gonna find the American Diner. It's an old fashioned diner where they put the booths inside of cars. It's a really fun place to hang out. This is a la carte, so you do pay for what you eat here other than for breakfast. So they do have burgers, um, fried chicken, chicken pot pies, and so much more. But for breakfast, it is free here, and they have a very simple breakfast with fruit and cereal. So if you don't want to go to the buffet where it's a little busier, you can pop up here. They've got all sorts of breads and pastries, as well as they do have some eggs and bacon and sausages up here. And right next to the American Diner, you are going to find the Ocean Loops water slide. Now this is one of those free fall water slides that shoots you out over the edge of the ship and back on. We did see a few people actually get stuck and they had to let them out part way through. But uh, let's have a look. I think a guy's going to drop in right here. Here he goes. Man, that looks freaky. Right next to that is the entrance to the Aqua Racer water slide. You have to climb all these stairs in this tower right to the top. So let's head on up there and go for a ride. This water slide is a fully enclosed water slide, but yet it opens up. It's kind of cool. And it's got all sorts of stripes and different things. It's pretty short, it's less than a minute long. You sit in a tube, you can go singles or doubles when you go down this. It's quite tame, but a ton of fun. The kids seem to enjoy it. Also here on deck 17, there's some great views overlooking the ocean. You've got the running track that runs around the full pool area. You can look down on deck 16 where all the pools are and the hot tubs. We'll check that out in a moment. And towards the front of the ship, you are gonna find jumbo chests. If you like playing jumbo chests, they've got two of these up here. also play ping pong. They've got two of these tables, one on this side and one out the other side of the front of the ship. There's also access to more haven rooms up here on deck 17. Now let's head on down to deck 16 and this is where you're going to find the buffet. It's called the Garden Cafe. We'll head on in there. Now this buffet is complimentary other than if you buy any specialty drinks or anything like that. It's really quite large. There's lots of cereals, yogurts at breakfast time. Made to order omelets, bacon, eggs. There's so many different options. As for beverages, they have orange juice, apple juice, lemonade, iced tea during the morning, as well as coffees, teas, milk, and endless amounts of soft serve ice cream. You can see there's tons of seating up here, but we are in the middle of the breakfast rush, so it's quite busy. Beautiful views with the floor to ceiling glass. It's a great place. They've got pancakes and waffles. More cereals and endless amounts of fruit platters. They'll even make custom crepes for you with different fruits inside. The one with strawberries was amazing. Here's them making a custom omelet for me for breakfast. And here's a quick glimpse of what the dinner looks like. There were so many different options and it changed every day. They even had roasted duck this one day. They've got hard scooped ice cream, all sorts of different flavors. My favorite was the kiwi. And they have a wine station here. You just put your cup under there. You do have to pay for this. Let's head on outside to the pool deck area on deck 16. They also have some restrooms right outside of the buffet here that are really easy to get to from the pool and the buffet. And on the warm days, they actually put this Starbucks bicycle out by the pool. It's really cool. They'll sell you Starbucks out there. There's also a ton of seating out here. If you want to take your food out from the buffet, you can come sit out here outside and enjoy your meal. So we're out here on the pool deck. They've got a towel exchange program out here. You just grab a towel from them. You don't have to show your card or anything like other ships. You just grab a towel. And this is the adult pool over here, so no kids were allowed in this pool. It's fairly quiet right now. Lots of seating out here. They've got a massive screen up here. 
as well. The waves bar is out here as well by the pool. You can see those water slides that we checked out earlier over there. They've got a stage where they'll put on performances or have DJs out here. And today they're going to be serving clam chowder. That looks really good. We'll have to check that out. So this is the kids aqua park and it looks like a ton of fun for the kids. The kids were having a blast in there. All sorts of things they can climb up, get wet. There's even a water slide that comes down the backside. And it's closed right now, but um, it'll be busier later in the day. And this is the main pool right next to that. So this one kids and adults can go into. They've got a full selection of life jackets right here. So you don't have to worry about bringing one with you as well as they had a lifeguard on duty. And they've got two more hot tubs over here right beside the main pool. And each of these had a capacity of six people. And again, it's fairly quiet right now because it's right around breakfast time, but it will get busier throughout the day. And they've got one other bar over here behind the pool if you want to grab a quick beverage. So let's head on inside to the aft lobby where you're going to find the Galaxy Pavilion and the Mandara Spawn Salon. We're going to walk right through the elevator area here. There's eight elevators at the back here and there's a whole bunch more at the front. So here's the Mandara Spa and Salon. You can book all sorts of massages and have a special treatments in here, get yourself pampered. And they also sell all sorts of lotions and potions here if you wanna pick up some of those. So let's head on over to the Galaxy Pavilion in Video Arcade. This is the Norwegian Joy's virtual world where there's racing simulators, there's interactive video screens, there's video games as well as games where you can collect tickets to trade in for prizes. And here's one of the racing simulators where you actually sit inside a race car. There's multiple screens that you can have a look at. Here's the Exterminator virtual game, the Flymax. You can actually see what the um, participants are seeing on the screens at the back. Here's another racing simulator where the seats just move around and you can actually race your your friends and the prize hub so if you win any tickets you can trade them in there for prizes there's all sorts of games back here haunted park 2 guitar hero this is also the entrance to the entourage teen club it's not open at the moment but that's where you would enter that there's also some seating here on the left hand side did get pretty busy in here in the afternoon on sea days so um, just keep that in mind when you're making your schedule. Let's head on down to deck 15 and deck 15 has a lot of cabins but it also has the first of our favorite three places on the ship that you're not going to want to miss out on. So we're going to head right to the front of the ship. There's lots of cabins on deck 15 including concierge suites. So there's lots of jogs and turns through here. This ship is so big, there's miles of cabins. All right, so we are at the front on deck 15, and this is the first of our favorite three places on the ship, the Observation Lounge. There are tons of places to sit, really comfy couches, there's board games, coffee tables, and great views. If it's cold outside, you can come sit in here in the comfort. They've also got two small complimentary buffets in here that serve coffee and juices as well as you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner up here. Make yourself a simple cheese and meat plate, have some dessert. Again, you can see all the couches and there's just so many families in here playing board games, Monopoly, chess, checkers, card games. And it just actually gets bigger as you move towards the front of the ship. There's so many couches. Actually, the first couple of days it was really quiet in this area. And as the cruise went on, it got busier here, I think because it's mixed amongst the cabins on deck 15. A lot of people didn't know about it. It was kind of the hidden gem of the ship. Great views. We could see whales while we were cruising to Alaska. It's really cool out here with tons of glass. We even got to go out on the front of the ship there when we were looking at the glaciers in Alaska, right down at the very front. It was really cool. There's also a bar up here if you want to get a drink. And this is the first of the two full-size Starbucks on the ship. 
You can even buy Starbucks mugs on here. They had Seattle ones and mini Alaska ones, but they didn't have the full size Alaska mugs on the ship. Now, this Starbucks is a fully functional Starbucks. You can use your Starbucks gift cards and you can even collect stars towards free food and drinks. Here's the second of the complimentary buffets here in the observation lounge. You can get a small lunch, a coffee or some juice. And there's tons of places to sit up here. And again, more couches down the other side of the ship. Let's head on down to deck 14, which is mostly concierge suites and staterooms. Moving down to deck 13, you're actually gonna find the medical center in the center of the ship. Their hours were 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Hopefully you won't need to use this facility. Decks 9 to 12 are all staterooms, so we're gonna kinda skip across those and move all the way down to deck eight. Now there's so much to do on deck eight including the waterfront, which is number two on our favorite places on board the Norwegian Joy. We'll check that out in a moment. But first, let's go check out the district brew house. It's right around the corner here. So they claim they have 50 different bottled beers and 24 draft beers on tap here. So if you're into beer, this is your place. There's also some great views and comfy seating with couches overlooking the water. Over on the other side, you're going to find the Food Republic, which is an a la carte sushi restaurant. It is closed right now, but let's peek through the window. The other day they did a food demonstration in the atrium and you got to sample the food over there. So let's have a peek. You do your ordering off tablets on every table. It's kind of cool. Behind us here, you are going to find the Humidor Cigar Club if you are into cigars. This is the place you're going to want to visit. It's right through those doors there. And over here is the waterfront and it's a boardwalk that stretches around the whole back of the ship up both sides. Hey, you can see the water slide up there. But what it is, all these restaurants have outside tables that they set up for dinner. You can come out here and eat or access the inside and they have really cool couches that anyone can come sit on out here and enjoy great views. And again, this is the number two place on our list of our top three places to hang out on the Norwegian Joy. It's really relaxing. They have these glass screens so it's not too windy out here. It's just the perfect setting to hang out and recline on some of these couches. And it's really quiet out here. I got the feeling that a lot of people didn't even know the waterfront existed, this deck. So uh, come check this out when you're on the Norwegian Joy. They also had free binoculars that you can use, which comes in really handy if you're looking for whales or you're checking out glaciers or some of the cool land that you're passing by. Great views. And when you come around the back of the ship, there's just so many places to take photos. Maybe you've dressed up for dinner. Come out here and grab some shots of yourself. There's also these really cool glass windows in the deck floor. You can stand on them and look through, see the water. It's kind of creepy in a way. And over on the other side, I think the one was broken. So I'm not going to stand on that one. That's kind of odd. But the other one here as well. So there's supposed to be four of them. Heading up the other side of the ship, you can see there's more restaurants. And we're going to head into Cagney's Steakhouse here at the back of the ship. This is the steakhouse on the ship. It is a la carte. And you can dine inside here or out on the waterfront if you didn't enjoy eating outside. Really cool atmosphere in here. And on the other side, you're going to see Le Bistro, which is the French restaurant on board. And this as well is an a la carte restaurant. The decor in here is really cool. And actually, if you peek through the window here in Le Bistro or Cagney's and look down, you can see the Manhattan restaurant down below. That's one of the free complimentary formal dining rooms on the ship. So as you come out of those restaurants, you can see there's more access to the waterfront on both sides here, as well as through all these different restaurants on the eighth floor. There's eight elevators here at the back and you're gonna move right into the area where there's all the shopping. So right now they have a $10 sale going on. There's all sorts of purses and jewelry and stuff, watches for $10. 
So let's have a quick peek through some of the stores here, the time zone, jewelry box. This is where you're gonna find all your watches and jewelry on the ship. And they were often doing raffles and draws in this area and lots of stuff going on. They're trying to sell you all this stuff from the ship. They've also got um, sunglasses in here and bracelets, Roberto coin. You can see they've got some high-end jewelry and watches in here, Omega. Taguar. Heading out to the other side, this is going to be the kind of photo store. They've got all sorts of cameras and binoculars for sale in there. And if you want to buy photos that were taken on the ship of you, you can go in there and pick those. And this is the beauty shop. This is kind of the souvenir store on the, on the ship. There's all sorts of clothing and because this was an Alaska cruise there's all sorts of Alaska souvenirs in here teddy bears and hats and Alaska calendars and different things really cool sweatshirts I picked up one of these turquoise towels on here it was about $25 to give you an idea US all sorts of Norwegian cruise line clothing Norwegian Cruise Line mugs and different souvenirs. Also they have tons of perfumes, Dior, um, makeup all through this section as well. Heading further down they've got a t-shirt sale on right now. It was four t-shirts for $40 so $10 a t-shirt and they were all over the ship. Right after that, you are going to see the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. They've obviously got some kind of show or something that's about to start because it is the morning. It's not usually that full here in the morning. And they've got this really cool chandelier that goes down three stories right down past the casino down to deck six. It's always changing colors. Really cool. And next to that, you are going to see the Cavern Club. This is where they have the Beatles cover band playing in the evenings. It's a really cool place to come hang out and enjoy a show. And right next to that, you're going to find the Sandbar, where you're going to find all the alcohol and candy. If you need any toiletries, that's in here as well. They've got tons of stuff in here, as well as chips and chocolate. If you need some Royal Crown, it's $39.99. Binoculars, if you forgot those on your way to Alaska, you can pick those up in here. $65. Bucks. Toblerone, Pringles, everything you might need on your week-long cruise, it's all in here, M&Ms. And if you need toiletries, they do have them here, but just to let you know, like the shampoo there is $9.99 for the same one I buy at home for about $3. So give you an idea of the cost, it's fairly pricey. Next to that you are going to find the Ocean Blue. It is a seafood restaurant a la carte and you can actually go sit outside on the waterfront here or you can sit inside in their beautiful restaurant. It is really nice in here. And right next to that, you're going to find the Cellars Wine Bar where you can sample premium wines and spirits in their upscale lounge. There are just so many restaurants on this part of the ship, and that's because most of them have access to the waterfront so you can sit outside and enjoy your meal. Right across the way, you are going to find La Cacina, and this is their Italian restaurant on board. And again, this one is a la carte. And if you want some seafood fettuccine or some pasta carbonara, this is your place. It is really cool in here. So we've made it back up to the elevators at the front of the ship. And why don't we head down to deck seven? There's a lot to see there as well. So deck seven is where you are going to find the theater on the ship, the entrance. And we'll check that out in a moment. But let's take a quick peek outside on the deck. And this is where all the lifeboats are located. And it's always really quiet out here as well. It's a great place to bring a cup of coffee and enjoy some great views. Maybe snap some more photos when you're all dressed up for dinner. 
the seas are sure calm today. It's beautiful. All right, heading into the theater, they have something called the box office. If you need tickets for any of the shows, you can come grab those here at the entrance to the theater. But right now, they are playing bingo in here. It's actually pretty busy for the morning. A lot of people waiting for that to start. We saw some great shows in here. They had Elements, Footloose, A Magician, Comedians in here. It was really good. Just outside of the theater, you're going to find another small arcade right next to the local. So they've got one of those machines. You can squish a penny for a souvenir. Guitar Hero. Basketball games and all sorts of games where you can win tickets to trade in for prizes. They even have a Tomb Raider shooting game over here on the end. And now we're getting to the third place that we absolutely love on the Norwegian Joy, and it is the local. Now this is a complimentary restaurant, but the great thing about this restaurant is you can sit here along the edge and look over into the atrium and watch shows. And there's so many shows going on in this area that you can watch all day. Grab yourself some nachos or chicken wings, sit here and just relax watching all the shows there's burgers all sorts of stuff and this is the local bar and grill and again this is a complimentary restaurant that is open 24 hours a day so if you have an inkling for a burger at four in the morning this is your place right next to that is the joy casino and there's lots of machines here all through and they've got table games over on both sides poker and blackjack here's those stairs and that beautiful chandelier that hangs down that are constantly changing color the players club and this glassed off area on the right hand side is the smoking area of the casino so if you're gonna smoke you have to go into that area and use the machines in there they've also got another bar in this area for the casino Heading to the back here, you are going to find the Manhattan Room. So this is the complimentary dining area. It's the formal area. It's quite nice in here. We enjoyed dinner in here for a few nights. So let's drop down to deck six at the back of the ship. And right back here by the elevators, you are going to see there's a bar up ahead, as well as the other two complimentary dining rooms, the Taste and the Savor. We enjoyed breakfast and dinner over here a couple of times. They're great restaurants. You can head here for lunch as well. And these again are complimentary. They had some really good dishes in here. Fish, steak. They had all sorts of wonderful desserts. And on the other side is the taste. They have the identical menu. So just pick whichever one has a shorter line because it's the exact same menu on both sides. They're kind of a mirror image of each other, just different colors. And if you arrive early, you can usually snag a spot by the window, which is really nice to look out. Right next to that, you are going to find the art on the ship. This is where they do the art auctions. You can buy some of this art. The collection art gallery. And right next to that, you're going to find the Maltings Whiskey Bar, where you can find international spirits from all around the world. It's quite dark in here. You can see they're setting up for the day. Right across from that, you are gonna find the Tapanyaki restaurant. This is a Japanese hibachi restaurant where they're kind of putting on a show for you. There's flying shrimp, onion volcanoes, twirling knives. They're throwing things in the air. Steak, seafood, chicken, all sorts of stuff. It's $39 US per adult, so check it out. And right across from the Tapanyaki is the Social Comedy Club and Night Club. We did catch a couple of comedy shows in there. They were really good. It's a smaller venue. But right now they've got an art show going on, but tonight it'll be back to comedy. The Social and Tapanyaki are located right at the bottom of this big chandelier we've checked out a couple of times. Again, that thing's really cool. Goes up three stories. Right here, you're also gonna find another bar right next to the main atrium where they're constantly doing shows 
and we're right under the taste so that ledge up there is where we were watching all our shows from in the taste looking down and you're also going to find the second starbucks on the ship this is another big starbucks here again fully featured starbucks and you can grab a coffee here and watch some of the demonstrations cooking shows and different things that they're constantly putting on also in this area you are going to find the cruise next desk and if you want to book a cruise get one of those great deals while you're on the ship you can do that right there at the cruise next desk you're also going to find the guest services desk over here the onboard credit desk as well as the shore excursion desks over here on the sixth floor right next to the atrium getting towards the front of the ship this is where you are going to find the queue Texas Barbecue House. We'll check that out in a moment. First off, we are going to look in the card room and library. If you're looking for some peace and quiet or you want to read or maybe play some cards, you can just sneak through here into the card room, grab a book, and find a quiet corner. So let's sneak on out of here and go check out the Q Texas Barbecue. Now the Q Texas Barbecue is an a la carte restaurant. You do have to pay to eat there, but in the evenings they have country bands playing and they say it's full of dancing, drinking, and a honky tonk. Good time. So the last deck we're gonna check out is deck five and this is where the Splash Academy is located. You can leave your kids here. They can play sports or games. They've got all sorts of activities and parties. And if you wanna get out for a romantic evening, you can drop your kids off here and head out for a night on the ship. So we loved our cruise on board the Norwegian Joy to Alaska. And again, our favorite three places on the ship are the Observation Lounge on deck 15. So many comfortable seats as well as great views in there. It's nice and warm. We also love Deck 8, there's all those comfy couches and the free binoculars you can look out over the water, search for whales, as well as we really like the local, the, it has the free food and you can look over the atrium and watch some of the shows that are going on. So if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer because I've got tons of videos coming up, especially on the Norwegian Joy that I'd love to share with you. Thank you so much for watching and take care.